am the master of shadows. Some may even call me Batman. And to them I say, eat my spit. <laughs> I am a friend of darkness. I hide in the shadows. I fart in silence. I am the perfect assassin. Hey, there's a man in the shadows. Shh, don't look at him. He's probably a pedophile. I am the master of shadows. Some may even call me Batman. Hello and welcome back to the Ken OE channel. Today we'll be talking about the PX Previews exclusive Deadpool by Mesco Toys. I'm not going to repeat the mistake of missing out on the PX Previews anymore, so here he is, so let's begin. Starting with the box and their PX Previews boxes are pretty much tin boxes instead of cardboard boxes, which really makes this feel like a collectible already. Still, the logo at the front with the grey theme and at the back the usual display of accessories, which I'm excited to talk about, so without further ado, come out of the shadows, Deadpool. Oh, you think you're funny, huh? You make a sketch about that and now you bring that up again? You think you got jokes, do you? It's all cringe as shit, so don't get too cocky. I believe this is following the X-Force Deadpool design, but I can't really find an exact look of this guy, so there's not much to reference from. But for the figure itself, it's pretty much taking the same design from the previous Mexico Deadpool figure, stripped him, painted grey, and having this strap over. So even though it looks pretty good, I kinda wish they kept this belt with all the pouches and maybe the gun holster which was featured in the promo pictures, but it didn't stay in the final product, which is a shame. Also another thing is that this X design here just seems a little lacking of detail. If they did something with the belt insignia where they sculpted the X in, instead of just painting it over and having it flat, then it would have probably looked a lot better since that X logo plays such a huge part in this figure's appearance. Also you got the usual sweaterish look, which again would have looked better if they painted it black but it's a good thing this strap is blocking the side of that so it doesn't stand out as much as the original one I tell a man's not hot. So overall, I kind of wish they would have added more detail to the one fashion accessory that changed on this figure, since everything else on this figure, sculpt wise, is the same as the previous guy. But if you are a fan of the X-Force character, then I'm sure you still dig this look nonetheless. I won't be talking a lot about the articulation since it's the same figure as the previous Deadpool, so only highlighting what's important. Since he has less bulky straps on him, it allow for more range of movement but it would still take some repositioning of the fabric to allow the figure's arm to go upwards or even twisting his biceps. He can crunch forward that far and even arch backwards that far but his sword handle would be going up his. And he can't do the splits that far, so overall, like I said, thanks to less bulky straps, everything else is free now. Pose away, Mr. Wade. Moving on to the accessories, and this is where things get exciting. So let's start with the good bits first. The weapons. <laughs> We'll talk about the weapons that were similar in the previous package first. So he has the same rifle and 6 ammunition for his launcher and of course the only difference is the paint. He only comes with one gun which is the same sculpt and detail just this time painted all black and it does come with a spare magazine. The 4 grenades again with different paint and it can be attached to his belt and he comes with only one katana as you saw earlier. So now moving on to the ones the previous package did not have. He comes with a pair of Uzis and even though the paint is just black and grey, they even fine printed or painted some words on it. One says psych and the other gotcha. and the magazines themselves got chimichanga printed on it. The magazines can be taken out from the Uzi and they still provided you with a spare pair. Next up is the grenade launcher. Another similar weapon you'd be receiving if you had the Mexico Punisher figure but they painted the smiley face on the scope and the words bye bye on the barrel. Bye bye man. And it can only be viewed from this angle, if it's turned the other way, the words become upside down. Well duh. They still provided you with 6 grenades as well for this weapon and it's painted the same colour scheme. And as with the other grenade launcher, this barrel can be twisted, this powder gun can be twisted, and the ammunitions fall off with ease, so eyes open. And lastly, the big mama. The bazooka. This time going for a red finish instead of following the color scheme with Deadpool's logo and the words Deadpool's gun printed on the bazooka. Very nicely sculpted and detailed. Moving on to his hands. He comes equipped with face punching hands. A pair of hands to hold his katana even though he only has one but you can borrow from the other Deadpool figure. A pair of trigger happy hands. And lastly he comes with one hand to hold the grenade and one call me maybe hands. 
And for his interchangeable hit, he comes equipped with the hit where he's staring you down. Another one he just let out a silent but deadly one. And lastly, the slight reveal of Wade, which I'm not sure if he's cat whistling or chewing a chimichanga, or doing both at the same time. If you're worried about losing these accessories, they still provided you with this plastic pouch and the usual stand with the grey Deadpool logo. And here is the X-Force Deadpool standing next to his potential targets from different companies. <laughs> So, in summary, even though the figure lacked in a few details in its appearance, it allowed more room to unleash his full body movement, and the amount of accessories provided also makes up for what this figure was lacking. It's just a shame there wasn't anywhere on his body to put these weapons on, but overall, this figure still puts a big smile on my face. Like I said before, if you're a fan of the X-Force version of this character, or if you just want the Deadpool character with plenty of badass weaponry, then you'll definitely enjoy this figure. That concludes today's episode, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please help me leave a like and subscribe for more content in the future, and help me achieve my 10,000 sub goal. We're currently at 3,100 subscribers, so thank you all for your support and for watching. Just a reminder that the SH Figures Darth Vader giveaway is still ongoing, and if you're living in Australia, all you gotta do is hit the Japan Toys Facebook page, find the review link and leave your comments. I hope you guys are embracing your inner geek and having a great week. Till the next video, stay awesome and take care. Click here for video 1. Click here for video 2. Click here to subscribe. Click it. Thank you for watching. Arigato. Thank you.